may I help you? That's what you like. And here you are. That's here you are. Take it. Stop by again. Indeed. to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Sure, once you've got a license. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. <sighs> this job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. That may be so, but my heart's set on it. No matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. <sighs> Let's just say, you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, hmm. So, uh, Nijima, when you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. <laughs> if only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders, even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, 
The cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. I've heard about it. I'm impressed you never cracked under it all. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji! Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you! I ain't some comedian! Shit, not now. Don't be stupid. Just answer for me, will you? Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving and then I'll call back later. Emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <sighs> well, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? Yeah, damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight... What in the heck? He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Based on my deductions... Today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. Uh, that's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. Right. We should try to find a nearby cemetery. Where do we start? I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? 
Can't even catch mom's killer. <laughs> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Uh, well... You know... Ah... Uh... What do we even do? We really crashed that ship! She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. Um, um, hang on a second. Um, please? What? You guys? What are you doing here? Who are you? Okay, and what do you want? She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Uh, Kane-chan, right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. So, when I talked to you... Mm hmm He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well-behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up! But for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up! So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh... Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the Force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk, considering all the hell I put my own mom through. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean, it's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. <sighs> I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. But don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey! Zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects. So, two years, how the time flies. It was... Well, I should go home. Oh, well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, hey, Akane! She's not stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, 
Sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Fine by us, but you sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy packaged and stuff. Really? It's that bad? I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. Yeah, after what we put her through, I want to at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Well, wait a minute. You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it. Hey, hey, you damn kids. Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking to myself here? Akane-chan, would you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. I can no longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so, Gramps, you don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but what happened with Akane's mom? Hmm. <sighs> Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer too, right? Did they ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. It's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Mmm, so good! Oh, oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing! Let me try, let me try! I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. <laughs> the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> it's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. We 
better keep our mouths shut here, Sophia. Oh, man. Today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? I agree. You're very quick to learn. You'll be a curry master in no time. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Oh, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? You really saved my ass back there. The place may be cramped, but it's yours for the night. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way, and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Ah. Uh, so, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. Uh, Good God! So, this is my room, and, yeah. Whoa, is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff. Well, uh, they are real famous, you know. I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. Uh, no, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh... Yeah. How neat! We're all the same then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup. We're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! I love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess your hairdos actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their lives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. He's so mysterious and dreamy. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Kanechan is so awesome. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. 
<laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great! Oh, you know, maybe I could let you in on the show. Hmm? What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, how interesting. Yep, sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let us enjoy our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she <laughs> copying you? It is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. The channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's easily a mid-tier account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. It's embarrassing to admit, but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their M.O. have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's basically what an episode's like. That was great! You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it, too. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. Kids these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit, especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Oh, thank you. And you could do that with the parentheses anytime you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. Way we would have been any help. Yeah, they weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Um, after Mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh? I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. You want to know something? my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he 
he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Oh. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. I just thought over and over, there's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship, but even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... It's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? <sighs> I saw him. The man that ran Mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, They'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there. Akane chan. He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Asagawa-san may seem like he doesn't care, I have a feeling he does, in his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasegawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you are around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I just wanted to help. No, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> My mom, my mom, she... <sighs> Please, forgive me. I really didn't mean to do this to you. Feel free to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. <laughs> Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. <sighs> Those kids.
Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um, once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shit, it is tense here. Oh boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Don't. Come on, please, just stay out of it. Aw, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, Fatabachan? Come on, quit it! Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The time has come. If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... Promise to come back soon. Of course! Next time, we'll bring tons of snacks and we can stay up all night gossiping. We can share a bath again, too. Reach out to me anytime you like. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Mm-hmm. Got it. Have a good trip. Um... I guess... Be careful. Uh... Is that it? Oh! Okay. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa! Sure seemed to work for him, though. even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. How pretty. What's it like under the water? Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big-ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay then, no wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? And you, Mona, get on my head. Uh, oh, okay. You're, you've, what is this? gotten it all wrong. Isn't this just some kind of weird cheerleading routine? I call it an impersonation of the town musicians of Raymond. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous! You guys are so stupid. made it. We're on that ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. It was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? Oh, there are more people than I expected. Right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all this. This actually was a pretty quiet place until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan. Find your new tropical life. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. Sounds like summer vacation's back on. Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. 
First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, which way? Hit us with the deep, Sophia. Hmm. Huh? What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. How the hell's that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Uh, that's the case. We should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. Ooh, I spy a souvenir shop. I'm gonna buy something for Soju. Wait, Futaba. I'll join you in the search for native crafts. Hello, Commissioner? It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the Phantom Thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? That's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa. The Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Is that clear? Uh, <clears throat> understood. Good work. 